Now to a 2 News Investigates report. According to highway safety data, 32 crashes have taken place in Little Cottonwood Canyon since the beginning of this year alone, including a major incident that occurred over the weekend. Measures to fix the decades-long problem with canyon traffic have been stalled out. A big part of the delay, lawsuits opposing the Department of Transportation's decision to build the gondola. So how long could it be before we start seeing any kind of solution on the traffic problem? 2 News Investigates' Darby Sparks went to find out. That is right, Heidi, and the parties that filed against Utah's, uh, UDOT say that something could be done right now to alleviate the traffic up here in Little Cottonwood Canyon as well as those crashes. But according to UDOT, the ongoing litigation makes them not able to do anything about it. After a multi-year study on traffic in Little Cottonwood Canyon, UDOT chose last summer to opt for a gondola as the best solution for getting cars off canyon roads. Lawsuits opposing that decision have caused UDOT to say they're halting the entire project in the meantime. How much longer do you think people are going to have to wait before this traffic problem is resolved? Well, it'll take two years at least for the litigation to be resolved. And I would think on the funding side, it might take another two years. So we're talking 2028, and uh, it's ridiculous. Attorney Patrick Shea, representing Friends of Alta in one lawsuit against UDOT, says there are three phases to the gondola project. And we all have told the Utah Department of Transportation we want phase one to go ahead as a safety measure and as a convenience measure. He says the first phase of the project, which calls for increased bus services, is mutually agreed on, and it's not part of what any lawsuits are asking the courts to halt during litigation. A UDOT representative told me via text that two out of three of the lawsuits are demanding a total halt to the project while litigation is ongoing. But when I came back to Shea about this, he said it's not true. The reality is, legally, they're perfectly fine to go ahead and continue on phase one. Shea said UDOT's decision to not go forward with the first phase of the project has nothing to do with what plaintiffs demand in the lawsuit. I'm sure that their national law firm that's costing Utah taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars are giving them uh, that advice simply to delay the process. Which could add another couple of years to finding a solution for alleviating traffic. To order a new bus takes anywhere from 12 to 18 months. And phase one includes building a traffic hub where people could park and buying new buses. Uh, no one has uh, acquired the property where the proposed transportation hub is going to be located. So w we keep being told that the lit litigation is being held up, but other steps that are necessary aren't being taken. And UDOT responded to these claims to me in a written statement saying, in part, our original plan for this spring was to begin building a 1500 car mobility hub. This would have provided increased bus service operational by winter 2025. However, three lawsuits were filed against the project. Two of these lawsuits requested a stop to any further work on the project. Now to see the entire statement, you can go to our website. Live at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, I'm Darby Sparks, Tunis Investigates.